This camera, part of a flying laboratory, is recovered by Clyde Holliday of Johns Hopkins, who prepared it for its trip to the upper stratosphere. Rivaling the fantastic imagination of Jules Verne, the camera brought back a record of a flight into the heavens of a captured German B-2 rocket. At White Sands, New Mexico, the huge missile takes off. Air Force pictures show the rocket in flight, and the flying camera automatically takes over. The huge projectile drops the Earth behind at the tremendous speed of 4,000 feet per second. The rotation of the rocket causes the planet to spin before the lens, and the camera photographs the Earth 65 miles straight down. The horizon, 720 miles away, and the curvature of the Earth are astonishingly apparent in this still picture from the film. An observer in the rocket could have seen San Diego, Salt Lake City, Kansas City, and San Antonio. Approximately 1,600,000 square miles of the Earth's surface was revealed. The rocket reached the 65-mile height in three minutes. This giant engine of destruction, designed by Hitler to annihilate Allied nations, now serves the worthy cause of peacetime research.
if there were real bluing here, it would have to be due to uh, lots of very small particles, smaller than a wavelength of light, uh, suspended in the atmosphere. Dr. James Pollock of the Lander Imaging team has now uh, looked at individual uh, brightness uh, numbers, so-called DN values, and concludes that despite the impression on these images, the sky is not blue. It's a typical, <laughs> it's a typical Earth chauvinist response. <laughs> um, according to Dr. Pollock, the sky is in fact pink, which is an okay color. Um, it <laughs> The sky is red, but it is not as red as the surface. And uh, the question of what makes... And, and, and by the way, the, the reason it looks blue here is must then be due to uh, someone making a slightly wrong relative weighting of the three colors which go into making up this picture. And it was done before the uh, uh, appropriate uh, color calibration chart data had been incorporated into this. So I hope we will see in the next day or two corrected, slightly pinker uh, sky.